Okay, Nathan asked me to say something, and I don't know what to say, but uh, I'll try. Uh, I thought what I'd do is take the four different stages of your lives and give you a little thing, something to think about. Uh, first of all, I thought of the, the tiny ones. Uh, and I thought the good one for that, the little, the little lambs, I thought a good one for that would be my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. And I thought the, then of the, the young ones coming up. And the one I had for that is uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He'll direct your paths. And from there I jumped to the, well, the teenagers and the young adults, or adults, but young. The words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart be acceptable in the, in the Lord at all times. And I thought that would be good for the, the adults uh, that are still well, maybe not have family anymore, or with family, and uh, just need a word from, from Scripture. And then the, the older people, which includes me, but there aren't, there are, they don't have to be my age to be old. Uh, I, gave, I gave them the verse, be strong and of good courage, fear not, or be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee, he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And those, with those four verses, I thought that would cover all of you. And, uh, well, since I am 96 now, only four years away from 100, I don't imagine I'll be hanging around much longer. So. For most of you, this will be a goodbye. And, well, I wish I could see you, but most of you I will not see again. But I love you all, and I thank you for all you've done in my life. Giving me the joy of having children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren. So for now, I'll say goodbye.